These are the top five products CNET readers were checking out for the month of February. Well, that was a fast month. And no surprise, you guys still love phones. Last month's number three, the Toyota RAV4 hybrid and the number one device. The Moto G7 were both kicked out of the top five entirely for February. Let's get to it. At number five is the Apple iPhone XR. Back in January, it was number two, so it looks like interest is waning for the lowest cost iPhone X. Maybe that's because there are new phones coming out all the time, or maybe it's because people who checked out the XR just picked it up and no longer want to read about it. What else can we say about the iPhone XR? It's always a great reason to show this video of Scott Stein chasing a pigeon to demo the iPhone XR camera. We've made it all the way to number four, which is the Samsung Note 9. Last month, it was number five. The Note 9 was the last huge phone before the Galaxy S10 and the Fold showed up. The Note 9 had insane specs at the time of its introduction, and it still does. The Note 9 has up to 512 gigabytes of storage and up to eight gigabytes of RAM. It's a very high-end phone. Maybe with the newest Galaxy devices shipping soon, the Note can be had at a discount. Number three is the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, which didn't even crack the top five in January. This is the big S9 with similar specs as the Note, but not as maxed out. The S9 Plus is also more affordable than the Note 9. Samsung has made the S line a terrific choice for the mainstream user. It's also a great excuse to show the very strange AR emojis the S9 introduced. Roll the footage. I don't know why the AR emoji gave me a man bun. I definitely don't have one. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, I've had some real sort of nerve problems. It's it's kind of, it's horrifying, but I can't take my eyes away from it. Forget phones, let's get to number two, which is the 2019 Chevy Blazer. Okay, so I'll be honest, I did not know the Blazer line died off in 2005 and came back for 2019. Here's what I learned thanks to the fantastic Roadshow team. The new Blazer takes some design cues from the Camaro and features a unibody construction. You'll find a smooth and quiet ride inside. There's an eight inch infotainment system that handles both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. There's also a user profile function that lets you save your settings like temperature controls and hands-free calling profile that is uploaded to the cloud. If you go to another GM car with the same infotainment system, you'll be able to download your preferences to that car. And the thing CNET readers have been checking out the most in February was the Samsung Galaxy S10. This phone was officially introduced on February 20th after being unofficially introduced to us for the past several months or so, thanks to leaks. Pre-orders started quickly after the official introduction, so that probably got people checking out the S10 as quickly as possible. The S10 uses an ultrasonic fingerprint reader in the screen. There's still waterproofing, a headphone jack, and wireless charging, but the S10 picked up another new trick, the ability to wirelessly charge other devices with the feature Samsung calls PowerShare. The Samsung S10 has a lot of competition, including with itself, since there are four versions of the S10, the S10e, the S10, the S10 Plus, and the S10 5G. You stuck it out to the end, awesome. Can we talk about number 80 on this list? Because I kind of want to. Say hello to the Jax Jocks Kettlebell Connect. It's an adjustable weight kettlebell with smarts. You can select the weight on the base. It goes from 12 to 42 pounds. It also has Bluetooth, so you can get workout reports with an app. That does it for us. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I'll see you online.